Hello friends, Marcy here. Um, since last week, um, upon the arrival of my uh, extra Twisby nib, I ordered a uh, Twisby nib from Goulet Pins to switch out in my Kaweco, um Iridescent Pearl. And it had a, I don't remember if it's fine, fine or extra, I think it's fine. But I ordered a medium nib and I swapped them out um, in a video about a week ago. Um, oh, okay, I can see it here, it was fine. Anyway, so when I ordered this nib, I didn't wanna place an order for just a nib. I wanted to, um, if I was gonna place an order, I wanted to have some more items coming in to make it worth uh, my while and, you know, uh, Goulet Pen's um, efforts. So I looked on there and found this Kaweco pen. It is a Kaweco and it just says Kaweco Germany on the cap. Um, but its name is Perkeo. Kaweco Perkeo. And it is um, very lightweight. I have not ordered uh, uh, ordered one. I have not owned one before in my hands. I've been um, flushing Lamy pens all day. So I, I am inky. I've cleaned up, but I'm still very inky because I've been flushing nibs and converters and I did like, how many pens did I do? Um, five, six pens. I've been quite busy today, but it's enjoyable. I do enjoy fountain pen maintenance. <laughs> Yes, I'm silly. Anyway, when I first held this um, Kaweco in my hand, I thought, wow, this is very lightweight. It's plastic. It reminds me of my um, Lamy. And once I took the cap off and um, held the grip section, I'm getting in focus, it was triangular. And I was like, wow, that reminds me of my Lamy they're very similar. So, um, not knowing much about the Kaweco Perkeo, um, no previous, you know, usage or anything. Um, I was quite surprised at how different elements of it brought me to the Lamy. So here we go. I'm comparing both. And this one is, um, pastel rose, something. I've had it for several years. I don't remember the name, but it's something pastel and rose. And it is the plastic um, body barrel um, safari. So uh, both of these are student editions. Of course, you can see that the Kaweco nip is um, quite a bit more ornate in shape and design. Um, the Kaweco nib is a medium, and my Lamy is, hold on, try to let you see it there. I believe it's just fine. It's just fine. <laughs> um, as you can see, the Lamy has the little window so that you can see the ink levels. Um, the Kaweco does not, but in length comparison, they're very similar. And the cap size comparison, again, the Lamy is just a tad few millimeters longer there. Um, the Lamy does have the clip, the Kaweco Perkeo does not. It has a faceted uh, cap, um, which prevents it from rolling, which um, on the Lamy, the clip would be the roll stop. So if your pin were to roll on the desk, that would be the stop. The Kaweco has its faceted sides uh, for the stop. The barrel has slimmer faceted sides and the Lamy also has a flat um, side on top. It's cylindrical on the sides, flat on the back, and cylindrical on the side. So even without, um, well, I'm trying to see if it's going to stop there. Um, it does have a tendency to roll. Okay, but could find its flat spot. Um, this, when I saw the design of this Kaweco Perkeo, and it does have a snap uh, cap, which again reminded me of the Lamy with the snap cap. Um, its design is similar to the Kaweco Sport. And this Kaweco has the faceted cap, 
but not um, the barrel. The barrel is very uh, smooth in cylindrical shape there. So we do have the Quaco logo design on the finial. Again, here this one also has the same logo design on the finial. And let's see what the bottom of the Lemmy looks like. Similar purpose, but of course different shape. Um, I am curious, um, I have never inked this Kaweco. I just flushed this one today. Um, let me see. This one had the noodlers, let me see, it had the noodlers, uh, pardon for the pause, uh, Black Swan and the English Rose. That was the ink that I was using. I may just use that ink to do um, a little ink test here on them on paper. Um, either that or there's Auntie Tom, Auntie Tom, which I just received uh, yesterday. I have not swatched this ink yesterday yet um, or the Navajo turquoise. Those I've yet to add to my swatch book. I did um, recently enter the Apache Sunset in the swatch book, but not on uh, video. So where are we here? Let's let's talk about weight. So I'm gonna move my little scale here. I think I have to turn off uh, this light to remove that glare and maybe make some adjustments here. Okay, I love to film in front of the window with natural light, so I'm gonna try to avoid that glare. Maybe I can do it this way. There we go. Yeah, all right, so um, to make uh, all things fair, I do want to see what I got inside. I know this did not come with a converter. Yes. Okay, this is the pen that came with an empty cartridge, which I've never received a fountain pen with an empty cartridge before, and a blue ink cartridge. So I'll remove um, those from the pen, replace the cap, and let's see what our move up so you can see. Okay, so we have 14 grams on the Kaweco Perkeo. And um, I am going to pop off the converter from the Lamy Safari and just have the elements of the barrel and cap to compare the weight of the pen. 14 grams again. Okay, and depending on what kind of ink supply you use, whether you use a converter or cartridges, that would change the weight, but at least you know the weight of the pen. Very similar. Uh, as a matter of fact, very similar. <laughs> They're the same. 14 grams. Um, let's go back to... I don't really need these cartridges right yet. Or the converter inserted. So what I want to do is... Um, dip in an ink. Have I decided? I haven't swatched this yet. I'm anxious to see how it performs. So I think I'll use the Noodler's um, Auntie Tam. Ooh, very rich, like burnt orange maybe? Let's see. Um, let me get some paper. This is the backside to another paper that I've used for practice writing. So I'm just gonna do a quick uh, dip and write for the nibs. So we have the Lemmy Safari and this is fine. 
I do like this ink. I've never used it before. Fine. And of course, I always, um, Lamy was like my first fountain pen. And I would order the fine or extra fine because I do like fine nib gel pens, ball points, everything. I enjoy the fine. And so with that in mind, I was always ordering fine, extra fine. Um, it took me a while to even get into thinking about a medium. Okay, let's move to the Kaweco Perkeo. And this one is a medium nib, so it's not going to be an apples to apples comparison. I just wanted to um, put some ink to paper with both. Oops, let me do that again. Since I just flushed my Lamy today, I'm sure the nib feed is kind of wet. And the Kaweco has never been used. So. It is performing like um, a fine compared to this, um, like a medium compared to this fine. Um, and I think compared to the medium that I just swatched out or switched out on my little um, Kaweco Sport. So comparable there. Of course it is smoother with less feedback. Not void of feedback, mind you, but less. So um, the Lamy Safari Fine and the Perkeo Medium perform very similar to each other. I'm satisfied with both and their performance, very similar. Um, as far as the writing nib, I do not have a reason to choose one or over the other. Um, they're both like student grade pens. And of course you notice that they're both pink because <laughs> that's what I do. Um, the one thing about the Safari is I know I can get a Lamy converter for it. Uh, the Perkeo, I'm not sure if I can get a converter for that. Um, I don't know yet if, if I can and what that converter might be. But I do have plenty of... Um, cartridges and wow it's taking me more than a minute to clean this nib um i do have plenty of cartridges i have the empty cartridge that i can fill with any bottled ink um using my syringe so no worries there i'm set to go on ink um I think I've covered all the bases on comparing these two pens. I'm very satisf satisfied with the purchase of each. Um, again, I didn't know what to expect with ordering the Kaweco Perkeo. Um, it was my first, and once I saw it, it reminded me so much of the um, Lamy Safari. So I wanted to just do a comparison for y'all if you've never seen one. Oh, one more thing. When in comparison, um, I don't want to skip this part. When you have, when you disassemble the Lamy um, barrel here, you have threads and all these little grooves are uh, markers for the converter or the cartridge to be inserted. But when you um, assemble the When you assemble the um, Kaweco Perkeo, you see this little lock notch right here? You have the threads, and there's also some yellow numbers there where each one is identified with a stock number. Um, but when you assemble that, there is, you twist, 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 and finally there is a lock. I can feel it, I can't hear anything, but you can see that and that's when it snaps into the lock. So the cap does lock down there um, because of that little L-shape nook. And that's another feature of the Kaweco Perkeo. Again, these are um, student uh, 
level pens, um, affordable and very easy to use for students or any fountain pen beginner. So I hope you explore and enjoy. I thank you for joining me and spending your precious moments with me this day. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.